Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense, here. Just getting in. I was having a little issue with my key cards for my room. Uh, apparently, I pay um, every two weeks uh, my rent. And apparently, in the system, they put me in for only one week when I paid for two. So, my card wasn't working. I had to stand around and wait on somebody to come back to the office so they can rekey my cards. Uh, so... It is what it is. That's one of the bad things I hate about staying in this place is because of stuff like that. I'd rather just come home, uh, stick my key in the door, unlock it, and walk in instead of waiting on somebody to, you know, click a key card or whatever. But hopefully uh, things will change for me from now until hopefully the beginning of the year and I can get out of here and at least get into something more suitable for me. Uh, all of this barging in and out of the rooms and you know they have to do their job I understand that they have to come in they have to you know spray out the AC unit so they have to take the whole unit out the slot take it downstairs hose it out dry it as best as possible bring it back then you got housekeeping coming in um, if you're off they come in clean your room and wake you up and all that kind of stuff and then you got uh, pest control, they have to come once a month or whatever. They barge in, they got to spray stuff, and then you got inspection days. Like, that's it's way too much to deal with living in a place like this. So, hopefully, I can get my behind out of here and get back on serious track. Uh, with that being said, I also was trying to make a video last night, and it got interrupted, and I didn't get to finish it. So, I'll do that in a few minutes. Um, go ahead and knock it out. Get it out of the way. It's just a topic that I was thinking about last night. So uh, with that being said, also, the fragrance I wore today is one. I've heard of this house before. I've never owned a bottle of any personally. I have just heard of the name. And... I actually am kind of I like the fragrance performance is not that good but it smells great um, this is from Al Rehab and this was one of the fragrances that was sent to me by a subscriber uh, forgive me I don't remember the name right off top I'm bad with names and remembering stuff at times but this one is Sultan. This is a 35 ml and this is a Eau de Perfume, not Parfum, Perfume Concentration. Uh, not too bad of a bottle. It's okay. If you can see, Sultan. And I'm assuming it's like maybe Middle Eastern or something like that. I'm not sure completely. It has like middle eastern type writing on it but i mean i could be wrong and if anybody knows about this let me know but i tried to look the note breakdown up on this earlier and i found it on fragrantica but it was so early this morning that i don't even remember what the hell was in this all i know is that i love the smell of this i'm gonna hit myself it has a damn good sprayer so, if anybody's familiar with like Middle Eastern type fragrances, you know the majority of those are oil based and they are potent as hell. Some of the best fragrances I've smelled, I actually have two Middle Eastern fragrances. Uh, actually, one of them is right here. And. This actually was on the same website as the Al Rehab. And this is uh, from Nabil. This is marble. And it's also one of them strong, potent ass fragrances that I like. 
this is a beast mode performer for me also. But this video isn't about this particular fragrance. It is about Sultan. Or Sultan, however you want to say it, fast or slow down. Us here in Georgia, uh, down south, we tend to say things slower. Sultan, but it could be Sultan. Something like that. But anyway, um, I love the smell of this. It has a hint of sweetness to it. I can't really pick up on what the note breakdown is, what's in this. Uh, I just know that I like it. It's supposed to, I guess, be a clone of something. It, whatever it is, I don't remember that either. Um, I get comments all the time and people were telling me or somebody chimed in when I got this the other day and told me what it was a clone of and I can't remember. So I apologize for that, guys. You know how it is. Um, I'm not even going to sit here in front. I tell you guys all the time I'm not the best reviewer in the world. I just give you guys what I can give you and if you want to know more information about it than what I give, you're always more than welcome to look it up. This one, I get about an hour of damn good projection. And you may be able to squeeze a little bit more out of that hour. You might be able to get an hour and a half. If you go... Uh-oh, here it goes. Excuse me. If you go a little heavier on the sprays. Now, I sprayed the hell out of this throughout the day. And nobody gave me any compliments nobody said i was too loud too strong anything like that so that's good um i got an hour maybe a little longer of good projection longevity on this was probably about two and a half three hours uh maybe four Depending on how many sprays you give yourself because I hit myself this morning because I thought this was gonna be like kind of strong and I hit myself three on the neck um, one two three and Then I hit my arms one two and my shirt. I think I did my shirt like six uh, three sprays So that's six seven. That's like eight sprays and then throughout the day. I hit myself again three on the neck um, one on the, one or two on the chest, so I probably did about close to 20 sprays today of this, um, which in my book is not good, but being that this bottle is so small and it's not bulky like something like this that you really don't want to stick in your pocket. That's kind of bulky. Or a full 100 ml bottle of anything else. You don't want to do that. This works out perfectly in your pocket. And that's what I did. I stuck it in my pocket and re reapplied if I felt I needed to. Uh, not bad at all. Would I buy any of these knowing what I know now that they don't perform that well? No. I would not unless one smells so good that I had to have it because these are pretty cheap the prices I seen on these were like three to up to ten dollars which is not bad for a 30 ml uh, because 30 ml bottles of Dua you're gonna run you like 60 bucks so these being like three to ten Maybe eleven, twelve dollars, depending on where you get it from, but they're not bad. Most of them are unisex fragrances. I seen that also when I was looking up the Al, Al Rehab fragrances. Uh, the majority of them were um, unisex, so I like it. I'm gonna say this. If anybody's interested in this one, I'll let it go. 
and as you can see how much juice is missing out of it and it's just a 30 ml bottle that's how much that's used out of it um, if anybody's interested in this one it's up for grabs if not I understand why um, this is not something I may want to hold on to I'm not I like it I'm not like infatuated with it um, like this one I've had a few people try to get me to come up off of this which is the 50 ml of Chanel Allure Own Sport O Extreme and I love this fragrance and that's one of the ones I cannot relinquish uh, Givenchy Gentleman Only which is another 50 ml damn good fragrance people have been trying to talk me out of that one I will not do it this one I'm not it doesn't hold any kind of value with me and so I will let this one go if somebody wants to you know do something with it um, but it is what it is it has to be worth me being able to ship it though because I'm not gonna pay you know ten dollars to ship just this by itself you know what I'm saying it's not worth it to me so anyway pretty short video as of right now I have no packages I waited on the lady to come back to the office and while she was you know redoing my keys I was looking around to see if there were any packages down there and I didn't see anything and maybe the mail people haven't ran here yet I don't know maybe I just didn't get anything today but whatever the case may be it's cool um, I'm gonna end this video and start the other one where I, I uh, wish I had a finished it last night but anyway I'm out of here guys peace